Hello everyone, if you want to hear this full episode, it is available now on Newgrounds. Yeah, you're just uh, gonna- it's not, Matt, what? you sound like you might be a little farther from the microphone than- I mean, I like lean in a little further. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, lean in a little closer, just a little closer. You, your nose should touch it, and then breathe, breathe deeply. And it's weird, it's not my <sighs> mic, I don't want to- I'm, That's for the fans to decide, I think. <laughs> So fans, make sure you email them exactly what you what you think about it. Uh, yeah, our email is uh, psychogoldfish at newgrounds.com. <laughs> what, what was it like to become the embodiment of Hank? Like, what parts of his actually, personality did you pull from? That's a good uh, question. I actually, me and Chase, Chase, I'd like to talk about this with you because, like, we went through a whole process of trying to kind of like. First of all, we obviously have like certain we you know we have the backlog of personal ideas for like what a madness movie should be, right? But what we tried to do with this commercial is hit the tone that the video game hits. I mean, but the variety is really there for your gun pedants like myself, so I love that stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I just kept stacking guns. E excuse me, gun pedants? Just that weird, you know, that hobble that Hank has when he walks. I mean, and Crinkles, mm. I don't know, maybe you could speak to that. I don't know if that was a creative decision or I, I also on Madness Day heard you talking about how you hate animating feet, but just that <laughs> weird little hobble he has, I think it gives him so much character. And, and, and if you watch the trailer, you can really see Hans bringing that hobble where it's almost like this guy is hobbling because he is fucked up you know and yeah. you know he's pulling knives out of his legs and everything but but he's still going and he's still kind of terminating right through the the madness mm -hmm. that was like a subtle little thought we had right when impl implementing that the the the, the stuff in the cartoon to the vi visual or when in the first wide shot after hank's at the door frame he looks around and walks over to drop his revolver on the table like his little like hunched over like wounded like uh limp limp walk like uh um, it was kind of supposed to be like a subtle homage to the way the little madness characters like kind of wobble around as they walk. Yeah. That's so we thought, awesome! Yeah, we thought like, oh, let's just write it into it. He's got a fucking knife stuck in his leg. Well, it's Dwayne up. Johnson is Sanford, obviously. I'm just kidding. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> what what parts of his Hart, personality, no, Kevin Hart? <laughs> 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 just, dude! <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, that'd be amazing. <laughs> wait, wait, Dwayne Johnson's Deimos and then Kevin Hart's Sanford. With the, yeah, like, no, honestly, yeah. honestly, I would, uh, this is just me, like, for now, I don't know what the hell, you know, but like, I would, I would honestly like no names, no name actors. Uh, hi, people. So uh, I'm Michael Swain. I go by The Swain, actually The Dash Swain on Newgrounds. Uh, I think I chose that name because one, it's my name, but also uh, The Dash is because I didn't want people calling me The Swain or something. Um, that's a true story. It's not a good story, but it's a true story. <laughs> So with this idea growing over time, how have the mechanics changed? Because currently, according to the trailer, there's 200 different methods of mayhem. So uh, how many methods of mayhem were in the beginning? Um, in that specific uh, mention, that's the that's the number of weapons in the game. And that's not even including that you can modify in one of the campaign modes. Arena. Jesus Christ. You can, you can modify them. <laughs> yeah, like guns, swords, bazookas, all that. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> Crinkles, tell everybody what uh, yeah, you're sure. about. Yeah, I'm Crinkles, or I'll I'll respond if you call me Matt too. Um, I got into Newgrounds like way way back. Um, I think I was like three days after Tom made the uh, sign up system. Like I was in there because I've been watching Newgrounds like ever since Pico's like the Pico School game was still in development. Um, so like just having having watched the portal kind of grow from this thing that he would put stuff into to this automated thing that we know now is has been a trip that's for sure not uh, only someone that contributed a lot to the culture but you're also someone who witnessed its development you actually joined new grounds 1999 like you were saying while pico school was still in development so you're you're one of those few people who have seen new grounds from its really early stages yeah yeah when like it was it was not an autonomous site like it is now like there was nothing really to it just a few pages of uh tom's work really jose but, don't lie you would let you would want josh to work on alloy arena too you said the the programmer's being a punk right now and josh is the programmer you <laughs> if anybody has any ideas for like an alloy mod for friday night funkin or has any ideas about alloy too just email uh, mind chamber at psycho goldfish at newgrounds.com <laughs> psycho goldfish <laughs> And when do you take a vacation? Because Jesus, it just sounds like you guys have been workhorse in it. I'll take a, a vacation in November. It's finally. Where I are you gonna have, go? Yeah, I I don't know. I I have a I have this like dream. 
It's like, you know, in, in Gladiator, whenever um, Russell Crowe's... <laughs> <there, laughs> <in, laughs> when he's so running he's his fingers through the, the wheat field. <laughs> yeah, he's got his hands in the wheat field, which is... Yeah, then he dies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's supposed to be, a, like, uh, not allegory, but it's, it's like, it's referencing Elysium, which is where you go when you die in, in like, yeah, the yeah. concept. Um, I love that movie. Again. I, have, I, I have these little, like, flashes from time to time of me just sitting on a, like... Uh, sitting on a, a rocking chair on the front porch of like a cabin in like Vermont or something, which is like me and the dog overlooking some water. It's like it's autumn or summer. It's like things are kind of green, but maybe the trees are kind of going gold. And like I think I have like an old beard and I'm completely white haired, <laughs> which kind of I think shows what I think of this game and and the actual time this is going to be released. It's your like, child. No, it's going to be done in four days. Um, I'm going to need a, another twenty years at least. Um, oh my but, yeah, god, that's, that's that's what I want. I want to just do that. Just be be alone and away from everything, including a computer for a while, <laughs> including Crinkles oh, yeah. for a little bit. You guys have been close to it for a little <laughs> too can, long. Come visit me. You're gonna be rocking in that chair, Swain. You right? You're gonna like finally for the first time in months, like pick up your phone and you're gonna see a poster for the Madness movie coming out. And what what was that like pitching the initial idea of what Project Nexus was? Like. Oh man, that's like uh, eight years ago, nine years ago. I, who can hardly remember? Uh, no, that. no, this game has been in production for only three years. Okay, get it right. It's <laughs> well, the whole I thought you were talking about like the original Flash cartoon. Oh, I am. Isn't that is that not the original pitch? I mean, like, basically, because I mean, like Swain and I used to talk, uh, like do like little slight collabs things, throw Flash files back and forth once in a while. Um, so I mean, like we were always communicating and trying to like think about like what we can what we can put together um you know using our skill set and is eventually we just came to this idea of like because i've i've been shopping around at that point uh trying to find people like i was trying to contact uh max abernethy the guy who uh put together madness interactive and he was off living a life free of video games so he was he was not okay <laughs> he became a monk after making madness interactive <laughs> <laughs> and, and like I reached out to a few other people, nothing really shook down. But like uh, you know, as I kept walking around and asking, uh, I I remembered. Oh wait, I'm friends with Swain, and he knows how to make games. And it, that's how my memory, as it. Uh, hopefully Swain can kind of correct me if I'm if I'm misremembering things here. Yeah, I, I, it was it was more or less that. Like Matt and I were chatting a bunch. Um, I, we'd met at uh, Comic Con for. It was my first time meeting anybody from Newgrounds, uh, and I met a bunch of people collectively. Um, and, and what year is this? What year is this? That was that met? was 2007. 